Okay, so come to a seated position. And what I want to do first is I want to have you close your eyes. And when you close your eyes, I want you to bring your shoulders to your ears, and then bring them back, and then bring them back down. So I want you to have a nice straight spine. Okay? So keeping your eyes closed, I want you to take your hands and rub them together really fast. Yeah. It should feel really warm, should feel some heat, right? Now just take them apart just slightly and then place them on your heart. And notice if you can actually hear your heartbeat. And I want you to breathe, all right? So with yoga, we want to make sure that we breathe. Even in every day when we move around or if we're feeling stressed out, we want to know how to breathe. So I'm going to teach you how to do heart breathing. So you're going to take a nice inhale through your nose. I want you to bring that breath to your heart. And then just blow it out of your mouth. Let's do that again. Inhale through your nose. Expand your heart and then just blow it out of your mouth. Do that one more time. What this does is it relaxes you. It calms you down. If we can try it one more time, and this time when we breathe in through our nose, let's see if we can breathe out of our nose, okay? Let's do it for a count of five. So breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, and then out of your nose for five. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. So I want you to think of something that you're grateful for. Something that makes you smile, that makes you happy. So I want you to think of something that you're grateful for. You can place your hands on your knees. I want you to listen to a sound, and I want you to listen to it to the very, very, very end. This is mindful listening, and then we'll work into our practice. Beautiful. Allow your eyes to open, and that should bring you to a little bit more of a calming space. So from here, I want you to come on your mat or on your carpeting, whatever you're on, and I want you to bring your knees as wide as your mat. I want your big toes to touch. So I want you to bring in two big toes, have them touch, and then I want you to sit back on your heels. And then you're going to bring your arms forward and then place your head on your mat. And if this is uncomfortable, you can bring your legs together and sit back this way. This is called child's pose. This is another pose that you can go into to just relax. So that breathing that I showed you, that I, I was telling you about, try to do that here. So inhale through your nose and exhale out of your nose. And this is a calming, relaxing breathing. Slowly, you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna walk your hands to one side of your body. So you're gonna have a nice side stretch. And then you're gonna walk your hands to the other side of your body. And that's another side stretch. Let's come back to center. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. 
Perfect. So I want you to come up on your knees, bringing your knees under your hips, and then your palms, your hands are gonna be placed on the floor under your shoulders. So make your hands nice and wide, your fingers are nice and wide, placing them down. The tops of your feet are placed down. So what they call this is like neutral tabletop, right? So I look like a table. You could put something on my back, it's like a table, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna inhale, but when we inhale, we're gonna drop our belly, and then we're gonna look up, okay? So this is called cow. So drop our belly, inhale, and then gaze up. As we exhale, we're gonna bring our spine, our back to the ceiling, just like a cat. Right, so that's what this is called, cat stretch. So inhale, this is called cow. Exhale into cat. Let's do this four times, okay? We're warming up our body. Inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale, again, inhale, exhale, one more time, drop that belly, gazes up, and then exhale. Let's all meet in neutral tabletop, okay? So now you're going to just sit back on your heels, and this is puppy pose, so lengthen those arms again. So remembering that breathing, it's so important. So we're gonna inhale and we're gonna bring our arms up. And we're gonna touch our palms together. And exhale, hands come to heart center. Beautiful, you guys look great. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Staying here, you're going to take one hand and put it on your opposite knee. And the other hand is going to kind of go behind you. Don't stretch too much. So we're warming up, right? So just place your hand as far as you can go. And you're going to look over your shoulder. And this is a little spine stretch. We're going to inhale, arms up. Exhale, and we're going to twist on the other side. Inhale, come up. Exhale, this time you're gonna place your hands right by your hips. And your, this is your heart, right? So you're gonna inhale and you're gonna shine your heart. Let's inhale up. This time, exhale, hands go by your side. And now what I want you to do is I want you to place your palms down or your fingertips, press and lift your hips up. And feeling that stretch. Beautiful. And release. Let's do that one more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Hands come by your hips. Press on the floor and lift those hips. Gaze is up. And release. Let's inhale up. Exhale to the mat. Let's come up into that neutral tabletop again. Now we're gonna get ready to do our first downward dog. So we're gonna tuck our toes. Again, we wanna make sure our hands are nice and planted into the mat because we're gonna be pushing ourselves up off the floor. So push yourself a little bit off the floor so now your knees are up and then your hips go way up into the ceiling. And now you're in your first downward facing dog. So let's Walk our dog, so that means bending your knees back and forth. And just noticing how you feel. This is another relaxing pose. Just breathe, inhale, and exhale. Now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to walk, knees are bent to meet your hands, get as close to your hands as you can with your knees bent. And you're gonna grab your opposite biceps and let your head hang. 
Now you're going to pretend you're an elephant, like an elephant's trunk, and you're going to rock back and forth, back and forth. Now let your hands go and just hang, just dangle and breathe. Beautiful stretching. Now slowly, very slowly, we're going to inch up into a standing pose and come up into standing. And you're not going to see the my full body, okay. So bring your shoulders to your um, ears and then back. I'm going to see if I can lift this up so you can see me standing here. Okay. okay, I'm going to face you. So shoulders to ears and then back, heart shining forward. Beautiful. Separate your feet just a couple inches. So now, just like we said with our palms, we want to make sure our feet are nice and grounded. Right? So really feeling strong. So I want you to inhale your arms up. Pinkies are turned in. Shoulders are down. And I want you to feel super strong here. This is called mountain pose. So if I was there, and if I went to push you, I wouldn't be able to push you down. You're super, super strong, connected to the earth. Bring your hands to heart center. They call this Amastiti T. This is another place where we can think of something that brings us joy. So close your eyes and think of something that makes you happy. And breathe. Nice. So now we're going to release our hands. I'm going to turn to my side so you can see. We're going to inhale up. We're going to exhale. As we exhale, knees are bent. You're going to exhale down to the floor. This is called forward fold. So your hands can be, they don't have to touch the floor or anything. You just want to be forward fold. Halfway lift is your hands can be on your shins. It's as if you're like a swimmer on a swimmer's block. And then I want you to plant your hands to the mat. Okay, so now you're, you're, you look just like this. You're going to take one leg back, bring it back, and then take the other leg back. Now you're in plank. If this is too much for you, go on your knees. So stay on your knees. And you're going to come all the way down to your mat. Hands are by your side. And you're going to inhale and gaze is up, just like we did in the cow. And that's a lower spine. It's your posterior chain. Stretch and release. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, gaze up. So they call this baby cobra. And release. Let's tuck those toes. On your knees, press up. Press hands and knees together. And then hips come up. And now you're in your downward facing dog. Beautiful. So walk your dog. So we're going to do that two times. Okay? And do your own pace. So let's walk to meet our hands. Okay? Inhale. We're going to come up. Exhale. Through heart center. Come down. Knees can be bent. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, plant those hands, come back either on your knees or not. Come down. And then inhale up. Exhale, hips come up. And now you're down dog. One more time. This is called Sun A. This is a flow. All right, everybody's ready. We're all set. Here we go. Let's walk to meet our hands. Inhale, come up to mountain pose. Exhale through heart center. Come down. Beautiful. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant those hands. Come back and back on your knees. And then inhale up. And then exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Walk your dog if you need to walk your dog. If you need to take a rest, go into that child's pose. And breathe. All right, so from here, we're going to lift one leg up. So it's your left leg. And we're going to 
bring our knee to our chest. And then just bring it back up. And now we're gonna bring it, bring our foot to the floor. Bring that other knee down. And then you're gonna come up, place your hands on your knee. So one knee is down, one knee is up. You're gonna stay here for a second. Perfect. Let's place our hands by our heart in prayer. We're gonna inch forward. Now you can stay here or we can twist. So we're gonna bring this elbow to the outside or on the top of that knee and twist. Nice. So I want you to imagine as if you have an orange between your hands and you're trying to squeeze the juice out. So twisting poses are great to release a lot of negative stress. It's detoxifying. And release, bring your hands to your mat, tuck those toes, and then bring this leg back into down dog. We're gonna do that on the other side. The leg comes up, let's bring our knee to our chest first. Bring it back up. And now let's bring our foot down, other knee comes down. Bringing both hands to the knee. Hands come to prayer, inch forward, and twist. Again, you're imagining that orange. Releasing hands to mat, leg comes back, and now you're in your down dog again. There you go. So let's try to do a warrior two, okay? I think you guys can do this. All right, so we're gonna bring our leg up. And then we're gonna bring this foot to meet that hand. Now your other foot that's behind you, you're gonna turn it flat. So you want heel to heel, okay? Arms are gonna come up and you're gonna be in a warrior two. So I'm gonna face you this way. So if you can see my feet, I don't know if you can see them, it's heel to heel. So one foot is going one way, the other foot's going sideways. And your arms are out, right? Stretched out. That front knee is bent, it does not have to bend all the way. Okay, so this is just for lengthening our body. And arms are out straight. Your gaze is at your um, hand, finger, front finger. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring this arm to meet our knee, and this other arm's gonna come up and over. This is called extended side angle. Everybody's there. And then we're gonna reverse. Just bring the arm to the other side. And let's do that again. So bring it over, exhale. And then other side. Exhale. And then other side. So from here, I want you to place your hands on your hips. I want you to take that front foot, face it to the front, take that other foot and turn it. And now you're in warrior two on the other side. Perfect. Extend side angle. And then bring the arm up and over. Again. And then arm up and over. Beautiful. One more time. And then arm up and over. Okay, now let's place our hands on our hips. Let's turn that foot. And now you, both feet should be in the same direction. Knees are slightly bent. Hold on. Okay. Now from here, with your knees bent, you're just gonna bend over forward. Remember before, like the elephant, you're gonna allow your head to hang. And just go side to side.
So I want you to take your hands now, I want you to bring them behind you, and I want you to clasp your hands together. So I want you to put your hands together like that behind you and stretch your arms, your shoulders, and release. Let it all hang with knees bent. Put your hands on your hips again and bring yourself up into a standing. Nice. Bring your arms out, straight out. So I want your palms to be faced out. So I want you to just, as if you're waving hi to someone. So let's do this a couple of times. This is for our shoulders. So just say hi. Wave your hands. Nice. Perfect. Now you're going to take your palms and you're going to face them to you. So you're going to turn your hands, face them to you. And you're going to wave to yourself. Perfect. A couple more times. Now bring your hands out straight. Now let's do some curls here, small little ones. And then bring them forward. Very good. Okay, hands on hips. Let's take that one leg, let's face it that way again. And now you're in your warrior two again. So back in that nice strong warrior two. Perfect. So from here, we're gonna bring our hands back. We're gonna clasp them like we did before. And now we're just gonna drop our head down a little bit. See if we can do that, if we can get a little bit of a stretch. They call this humble warrior. That's great. Okay, slowly come up. Release hands, shake it out. Opposite side. Warrior two. Clasp your hands and then come back down into your humble warrior. Beautiful, come up. Release hands, hands on hips. Let's see if we can go post our arms. And let's see if we can do five squats here. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. Perfect, hands on hips, let's bring that foot together. Staying here, I'm gonna turn to face this way. Now I want you to pretend that you have a chair behind you. Bending those knees, pretend you're sitting in a chair and all your weight has to be on your heels. So pretend you're sitting in a chair and just bring your hands here. Perfect. You should feel this in your thighs, this is waking up, your hamstrings. This is not an easy pose. Let's inhale, come up. Exhale, let's go to chair. Inhale, come up. Let's do this five times. So one. Inhale. Two. Inhale. Three. Inhale. Four. Inhale. Last one. Let's stay here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Shake it out. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to work on the mat. So I want you to slowly bend your knees, come down on your mat. And I want you to sit with your legs straight out. If you need to take a drink, take a drink here. Okay, so when we were standing, we did a thing called forward fold. We we're going to do it sitting. So this is called seated forward fold. So inhale up and then exhale. Just stay where you can go. Don't push yourself. This is where you can go. This is where you go. Let's inhale up, 
And forward fold. This time we're going to inhale up. Hands come to heart center. I want you to take that leg. I want you to bend it. So your knee is up. One leg is nice and straight. You remember we did a twist earlier? So we're going to just place our hand on that knee. Take that other hand and look over our shoulder. What's over our shoulder? What can we see? And this is creating a stretch. This is called a supine stretch. And release. So let's bring that leg straight. Other leg. Same thing on this side. And twist. And release. Let's do that inhale and that forward fold again. See if you can go deeper. And come up. So I want you to place your hands by your hips. I want you to have your fingers nice and wide. I want you to bring your knees up. So you're going to press down on your hands. You're going to make your seat, your butt, to meet your heels. So you're going to do that. And you're going to come all the way down on your back. And lie on your back. I'm going to fix my camera so you can see me better. Hold on. Okay. All right. So now we're on our back. Both legs come up. They call this candlestick pose. Okay. So it's open and bring it in. So inhale, exhale. Five times. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's hug those knees in. This time, let's bring legs up again. We're going to bring one leg down and then bring it back up and then switch. So it's one and it comes up. Two. It comes up, three, up, four, up, and five. And bring it up, let's hug them in. Bring the feet to the mat, your knees are bent. Keeping knees together, you're gonna to bring them to one side, your arms are gonna be outstretched wide. And feeling that side stretch. Bring them back up. Opposite side. Feeling that stretch. And coming back up. Both legs come back up. Knees bent. Okay, so we're going to bring our knees out. And then you're going to bring your hands to meet the sides of your feet and feet are coming up. So what we're going to do, this is a called baby pose. So our lower back, just rock it back and forth. This should feel really good, massaging your back. Perfect. Okay, feet come together, knees come down, let's hug them in. Feet come to the mat, your knees are up, your hands again, nice wide fingers. We're going to do, it's called a bridge pose. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our, our hips up just a little bit and then bring them back down. We're going to do this 10 times. So it's 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Maybe bring your knees side to side. 
This why we're gonna do it, but we're gonna hold it for five seconds. So let's bring it up. Five, four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Let's do it one more time. Five, four, three, two, one, bring it down. Side to side. So now let's have our arms out above our head, legs are out, so full body stretch. Now let's bring feet to our seat again. Hands are gonna come by our, our ears. And we're gonna do a little bit of a bicycle crunch. So legs are gonna come up and it's gonna be nice and slow. So opposite elbows to opposite knee. So it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down and breathe. So I want you to bring your feet as wide as your mats. And you're going to take your hands, so one hand on one side, you're going to try to touch your heel and then go to the other side. So you can keep your head on the mat, just gently move one and switch, two, switch, three, switch, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring feet together, knees are up. You're gonna bring one leg up. You're gonna bring your ankle to lay right on that opposite knee. So you can stay here or you can bring the other leg up. So now you have one leg, both legs are up. This is perfectly fine. You can try to see if you can push your foot closer to your chest. If you want a deeper stretch, you can bring your hands behind that leg and bring it in a little bit deeper. This is called half pigeon pose. So you should feel a nice stretch in your hip area. And release that foot. Other foot comes down. I'm gonna do that on the other side. Staying here is fine. Staying here is fine. If you want a deeper stretch, hands can go in between and pull. Release feet. Now you're going to take that one leg, bring it up. And then just wrap it over the knees, so both the knees, so it's wrapped over, yeah. Arms are out like wings, and then just bring it to one side, and your gaze can go to the opposite side. Deeper supine twist. Knees come up, and let's switch legs. And then drop it to the other side. And come up. Let's hug our knees in and roll our lower back to the mat. So from here we're going to move into our resting pose where I want you to listen to sounds. So you're going to lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms, have that full body stretch. If you want to, you can bring the soles of your feet together. You could be in Supta Baddha Konasana. They call this butterfly pose. 
Hands can be on your belly. And just breathe. So get in a nice, comfortable position. We're gonna do a little meditation. I'm gonna play some sounds. So stay there. I want you to close your eyes and just relax. And I want you to think about your heart. And I want you to imagine that there's this beautiful light shining from your heart. Notice how your body is feeling now, feeling a little bit more stressed, moving every day, just for even 30 minutes a day is so beneficial. And this bowl that I'm playing is actually a heart chakra bowl, so.
noticing your heart space, noticing the beautiful light in your heart, taking up that beautiful time or place that brings you joy and happiness, thinking of all your blessings. Appreciating the sounds that you hear. And being grateful and thanking your body for moving, stretching. Slowly and gently, maybe rolling over to a side and coming up into a seated position. Taking your time. Bringing our hands to our heart center, and then bring them to our forehead. So may there be peace and love in your thoughts for yourself first and for others. Let's bring our hands to our mouth. May there be peace and love with our words for ourselves first and then for others. And then bringing our hands to our heart space. May there be peace and love in our heart for ourselves first and then for others. And bowing forward, Om Shanti, 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 Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. Shanti means peace. So may you have peace with you today, tomorrow. Just ask for guidance and love and practice and move your body. So I appreciate you. Thank you, guys.